our turn to take something away from you. Damn, that line though, it's so good. <laughs> I thought it was terrifying, it was a force. Although it's kind of the same energy he has with his students, which is hilarious. That's one scary leader right Kaminari is a, a, a maverick too. <laughs> well, I think this is the most open relationship dynamic in the show so far. I mean, even Uraka can't admit to herself her feelings for Deku. This is right out in the open. It's brave, it's brave, it's bold. And in hindsight, it's a really cool scene, and it's, dare I say, romantic, that he's doing this in his mind for her, but kind of unseen by her. Very noble. He's the man. Team Edshot, the raid continues. It's all going well so far, but you never know. It's not like the villains are weak. Emergency! There's no need to shout. What's the problem? The heroes are attacking! A ton of them! We're completely surrounded! His expression never changes. Oh, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> There goes that calm demeanor. Ninpo, thousand sheet pierce. Damn, that's insane. In Move about too much, and it could be fatal. That is so cool. <laughs> Nighty -night. Up to this point, it doesn't even seem fair having all the pros here. I'm just waiting for it to turn around, though. But still, it's so satisfying to have like all the top heroes fighting together. I can't get over it, even three episodes in. Nice work, bud man. Wow, thanks. I got him. And it's all been set up so well. Yes, you're all dead. Death to you. Mushrooms? She was kind. She spared you from just throat mushrooms and death. You've done us proud. <laughs> it's so great. It's everything we've got while they're stunned. It's so on the nose. Is, is that Sonic the Hedgehog? It's so on the nose, but it's. It, like, I can't complain because it's so <laughs> wholesome and heartwarming. Like, in the heat of this crazy battle, with so much at stake, they never miss a moment to praise each other, to pat each other on the back. This is the world that I want to live in. I want to live in my Hero Academia hero world. Is it growth? Is it hero growth? Because there's been a lot of focus in the show on heroes being self-absorbed and status conscious. Maybe because that was peacetime. It feels really great that when things got serious, their true colors were allowed to shine. And we see that actually, no, they're, they, they're really heroes. They're this for a reason. In a way, the villains have just awoken this gigantic monster. What's going on? Yeah, but when... Oh, he's turning! <gasps> One's justice. Hawk's making a move. Finally, this must be such a huge relief for him. I feel bad for twice, though, in a way. <laughs> he's so trusting. I'm not a bad actor, huh? Hawk! I think twice is just... Just wanted to believe he had a friend. But if I understand this correctly, Hawk's also has some positive regard for twice. Why does this always happen? I thought if I didn't believe in you, I'd be giving in to the darkness again. Oh no, he's already so so fragile. I have so much hope for twice, but... Not your fault you were born with the crabbiest luck. Atone for your crimes and start over. Yeah, so give him some those who help some him love. Him. I don't know, something. Give him some affection. I'm happy to help you build a new life. Okay, that's so much so think. refreshing. That's such a relief. Yes. He's not about the villain ideology as, as much as he is just about, like, needing warmth and people he can count on and not just this crushing loneliness. Being the man who can make a thousand people but is the most alone in some sense. I don't know if Hawks can be the one right at this moment because of the, this betrayal. Maybe Deku? Twice is such a great character, man. There's just so much potential for him. There's such a powerful potential arc he can have. But it's just so thrilling because he's also always on the brink of just total insanity. The only reason I'm alive is them. All my friends. Uh, I just want to make sure they're happy. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe what's missing, what could be the key, is him just making the connection that how he feels about his friends and wanting them to be safe and happy is what most people want, and that the heroes, generally speaking, stand on the side of preserving that and making the world safe for people, whereas the villains don't really care, or in many cases are specifically out to cause harm. But it's been set up so well because if you if you come from a place of extreme scarcity or have that kind of experience with that depth of pain, that's just your your, your view of the world. Especially if it's for a long time or it cuts as deep as it does for Gene, that makes each thing that actually goes right in your life seem like it's the only thing that will ever go right in your life. So this group is the only group that he'll ever have. These are the only friends that he could possibly imagine. That's a very common framework. You know, the, the more scarce something seems that you need, the more impossible it seems, the more you'll over look obvious terrible things in the name of preserving it because you're just too afraid to go without it or too afraid of returning to the time before you had it when you were miserable. I think that speaks for a lot of relationships in general. All it takes is for you to convince yourself that one situation, one specific situation is indispensable and that you'll never be anything without it. Bad news is they're out of cement tosses range. 
Someone needs to seal them off. Bingo! You got it, my man! Great job, Tsukiyomi, for thinking that. <laughs> this is the job for Sun Eater! Right. Oh, look at this confidence. Speaking of stepping up. I wonder what he ate. Nice line. You sound cool. More praise. Oh no, what happened to that? Okay. No need for you to hold back. Then I will not. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> this endless praise for each other. Hell yeah. You guys are all doing a great job. You're kicking ass. You got extra powerful. Seems a lot more in control now, too. Right up against Redestro, too. I was not imagining- Oh, damn. Tsukuyomi, my man. There's something bad down there. I saw a real monster. A monster? Don't worry oh, yeah! Them. The big guy only takes orders from the enemy leader. This all turns around when they let Shigaraki out. It's an absurd amount of intel. Hawks found out while he was working here undercover. Hawks is the MVP. Is Hawks part of the raid? Oh, he's just looking for his mentor. <laughs> I trained as you told me. I'm going to become an even stronger hero. You can tell just how much he adores him. Hawks, I hope you get to see just how far I've come. That's so beautiful. Nice, we got a little sexy pose from Twice. <laughs> Looks great. You're multiplying at an insane rate. It's this is gonna weaken him, copies huh? Of copies. They aren't very durable. I won't make a mistake because I let emotions get the better of me. If you'd done as Ugh. I said, we could have salvaged this. That makes sense, but it's so sad for Twice and for Hawks. You don't get to act chummy with me! He's sparing him, though. He's purposely sparing him. Because a villain who refuses to quit is the most terrifying thing a hero can face. Shut up! No, but he spared him. He spared him. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. He's just incapacitating him. If neither side will give up, someone has to die. I want to believe he wouldn't. When I fall apart, Toga wraps me in her handkerchief. I don't think Toga's gonna wrap me up today, though. No, this is. I refuse to believe. This can't be it. Is to make sure the people I care for is. Just stop happy. fighting, please. I'll be sure to let them know that. No. Okay. I don't know how to feel. I'm honestly relieved for twice, if I'm being honest. I heard him. There he is. You didn't notice me, did you, Hawks? He touched me. He's and he saved twice. See, at no point did I ever trust you. Even though I did so many awful things to prove myself. Where is best genius for the love of God? <laughs> Please. I've weakened Bubai Gawara by slicing muscle and bone while avoiding major organs. Good. That's what I expected. I'll carry him out alive, and then... Don't do this! Oh no, he's still fighting. Everyone's waiting for you. Yeah, I'm on it. Thanks! Did he just ignore a high five? Wait, I gotta watch that again. I'm confused about what just happened. High five outcome unclear. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> what? of the flames and circle to the back. Oh, damn. He's number two for a reason. Keiko Takami! He just roasted- He knows my name? Who is this guy? Twice, man. You need to wake up. Please. Save Gene. And all you've ever done is cause them pain. This twice focus is just so amazing. There's so much riding on him. I already appreciated it, but it's hitting me in a new way. Just how great it was that they took the time to explore and set up Gene's character and do the whole My Villain my villain Academia thing. This is way bigger than I thought. There's so much riding on this, not just in terms of the outcome of the battle, but the moral stakes of the show. I mean, Twice's ability in conjunction with the, the other villains makes him somewhat essential. And I feel like his power hasn't even been fully realized yet. It's just, you know, steadily growing. To hinge all that on the saving of someone who's actually a pretty sweet guy, just who fell really far through the crowd is just great writing. It's just such a great concept. There's a lot of ways this could go that would be great. One that comes to mind that I think would be awesome is a Twice Deku encounter. Deku almost seems like the perfect match for Twice as somebody who would never give up on anyone and would give positive love and regard to even his worst foes. Toga! 
two of their lieutenants neutralized. You reading? I've got them here. Good on this guy for becoming a hero, despite looking like an obvious villain. Your the heroes just do like to talk. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. There was something about that that was so visceral. No, G, no! Perfect timing. Twice get to doubling. Toga, we should head underground. Oh, he slips deeper into the abyss. I can't keep it together. I wonder if they'll go try to help him. I ruined things a second time. Sorry. I wonder about Toga though. Does Toga actually care? Can she actually care? Jean's in danger. It's my fault your adorable face got hurt. Is this Take this? Is this a confession? I kept falling and failing. I got tricked. Lost a friend. And still ended up getting oh, fooled man. again. Jean. But I was blessed with people I cared about. His forehead has abs. Thank you for saving me, friend. Okay. Okay. What right do you have to look at me and call me unlucky? I was happy with my No, life. this is no way. No way. No way. I don't believe it. That didn't just happen. No, 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 no. I refuse. That's not real. No way twice just died. He seems way too too important to die here. No, I was just saying that he's part of a bigger thing. He was supposed to meet Deku. He had a, such a bigger arc. <sighs> I was expecting so much more. I was expecting him to turn it around. That's what I really wanted. I was expecting a romance with Toka. <laughs> That's f***ing tragic. I knew it was going to get dark and I knew things were going to get sad. I didn't know it was going to be this fast. I mean, we had our first villain or first hero casualty. I mean, and that was shocking, but because he was not really a person we got to know, it doesn't hit as hard as twice as death it seems like he actually i don't i don't know i'm having trouble imagining him coming back from this mud puddle all our hopes and dreams and expectations just destroyed obliterated i guess that hashtag <laughs> save gene was just a, a little bit too late just a little bit late on that one